All right, who wants to talk about surface boundaries? I do, I do, I do. Okay, seems like there's so much demand for this, I'm going to do a segment on boundaries for our surfaces. So let's say, for instance, I didn't want to show this entire surface, right? There's only a small part of it that really affects me. Uh, maybe I, I want to create a boundary so that uh, the rest of the surface isn't uh, slowing me down. Surfaces are pretty hard on memory and processing, so if you can get rid of parts of the surface, that's great. All right, so to create a surf, uh, surface boundary, you're going to need some kind of a, a closed polyline, uh, 2 or 3D, to, de to define your boundaries. So um, let's say, for instance, I go ahead and uh, create a, uh, just a quick little polyline here. Okay, and uh, there we go. Just a close, it's got to be closed, right? Make sure it's closed. Just a simple polyline is fine. Uh, any shape, size, form that you want. Now, the second part of it is to create a definition for that boundary. So, we already have point groups, you may have other stuff in there as well. But uh, here's where we want to add in our boundaries. And again, just right click, it'll ask us for the name of the boundary. I'm going to call it outside boundary and there's three different or four different types here I'm gonna go over a few of these here later but outer boundary means that everything outside the polyline is removed so that's what I want to do okay non-destructive break lines are a good idea because what they do is they retin the surface around your uh, boundary which gives you a nice clean edge so you'll get a new set of triangles around the edge of the boundary but uh, the the edges will be nice and clean and uh, and sharp so I'm gonna say okay and big old there's my surface now what's really cool about this is that it's dynamic right so if I select that polyline and I say you know what I need a little more room over there I'm just gonna move my polyline wherever I want okay and then notice it says alert Rick rebuild me okay so I know there's been a change with the surface. I just right click on that surface, rebuild, and bingo, look at that. The surface updates. Yeah, I got a little extra edge there on the on the side there, but you know, just clean that up and you know, rebuild, it'll do whatever you tell it. Oh yeah, very nice. Okay, now let's say for instance I had a uh, a pond, okay, in the middle of my surface. I got a big pond there. I don't want the contours to go around the pond. Well, uh, all I need to do to hide those contours or clip them out of there, I'm going to uh, create another boundary. Okay, so uh, let's say, for instance, I create a little boundary around my pond. Open your mind, people. There's a pond here. Okay, so this is my pond. All right. Now, all I'm going to do is, you guessed it, add another boundary. So I'm going to right click on this boundary. I'm going to say add, and I'm going to say pond. I almost spelled poo there, but uh, I'm going to say pond. Now the type, I don't want to set the outer, otherwise it'll clip everything outside. So what I want to do is I want to add that as a hide boundary. A hide boundary is the opposite of an outer boundary. It hides everything on the inside, okay, of that polyline. So I say, okay, 